It's so windy outside, the flag blew away. It's supposed to be a big Canada flag there. Unless they took it down. Maybe they're replacing it. I don't know, the flag's gone. Ha! It's super windy, but it's a good thing for us. The wind is coming from the east, blowing west. Which direction are we going? West. And today is a day that we have to actually book it as fast as we can go. Uh, as fast as they'll legally let us go because we need to be in Edmonton tomorrow morning and there's a crane that's going to be waiting there for us. They rented a crane to get these cement drums off my trailer and if I'm not there on that appointment they got to pay for that crane until I get there. It's, the appointments are 10 a.m. tomorrow like mountain time and it's like 10 a.m. central time now and I have about 12 hours of driving to go so there's, there's no way I won't make it unless my something goes wrong with my truck like knock on wood. Diesel do you think we can make it? I think we can, man. I think we can. We are super truckers. Look at us. Look at us. I'm a weasel pancake right now. Look. What does that have to do with getting there on time? But it's very impressive. Very impressive. Chevy has that same trick. He turns himself into a fluffy pancake all the time. They both lay as flat as they can. And Chevy always has like his lips flattened out on the bed too. I always call him a fluffy pancake. Oh, but I guess we should get out there. I gotta grab my coffee from inside here. We're at uh, Brandon, Manitoba, Husky truck stop. And we can get to Edmonton from here tonight, but we will have to book it, like I was saying. So good thing the wind is really strong today and it's gonna be blowing us that way because uh, I'll still be getting good fuel economy and making good time. Come on, let's go get our coffee. Let's get out of here. They didn't have any sleeves. I feel like my coffee is so naked without it. A sleeve is just like a little extra piece of cardboard paper that just slips around here, just so that you can hold it without burning your hands. It's not actually necessary, I don't think. It's probably just killing the earth faster than it needs to. So it's probably a good thing I don't have it. Okay, so it's time to go, everybody. Are you ready? You ready for this? It's gonna be riveting scenery. Okay, we're crossing the Canadian prairies. There's a lot to see here. I'm lying, there's, there's absolutely nothing. We got a whole day of nothing. <laughs> a whole day of, you might see some, uh, some tractors out, some air seeders. I think the farmers might be seeding some of their fields already. That's exciting. <sighs> see a couple of barns. Diesel, you'll be excited. We're gonna see a lot of cows. Are you excited to see cows? Why aren't you excited? How are you containing yourself? Wow, that is self-control. He is obsessed with cows. You wanna see some cows? How about some horses? How about some other dogs? Those are all trigger words for him. Usually they make him go crazy, but he can tell when the camera is on. I wonder if the camera makes some kind of like, some kind of noise that only dogs can hear that he knows when it's on. Because when he's when it's recording, he doesn't do anything. As soon as the camera goes off, ask anyone who knows him. He's just crazy. Diesel, come here. Are you shy? <laughs> so weird. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So we have, I think, 1,100 
70 kilometers? Oh, Mandy's got to think about it. Come on, Mandy, wake up. We've all been awake for a while. I already got my coffee. Why are you not awake yet? She's got to figure things out. I'm just... Eh. I think it's almost 1,200 kilometers that we have to go. She's 50% done right now. Bear with me, people. Bear with me. How's your day going? How's your morning going? Where are you right now? What are you doing? Let me know. Comments down below. Are you subscribed to my channel already? I'm still seeing that about 50% of viewers that watch my videos are not subscribed. Please drive to highlighted route. Here we go. 1,140 kilometers. So, for my American friends, you and your funny measurements, 1,140 divided by 1.61. We're looking at 708 miles. It's a full day. Full day. We're going to get that done today. So it's 11.13 central time here right now. I got here pretty late, so I got a good sleep. I knew that today was going to be a long day, so I wanted to get a really good sleep. Uh, I have 13 hours available to me to drive today. And I'll be traveling at about 105 kilometers an hour. So this should take me no more than just over 11 hours of just driving. And, you know, you got to factor in stops and everything. So let's say a full 13, 14 hours to get there. Uh, that's in mountain time, so it's 10 o'clock there right now. 12 hours will be 10 o'clock tonight. We'll probably be there around midnight, and I gotta unload at 10 a.m. tomorrow, and I've only gotta stop for eight hours for night, legally. So we should be good, we should be good. Cutting it a little close, but I mean, that's trucking, right? You, you always gotta push yourself, otherwise you don't get anywhere. You push yourself to get as many loads in in the month as possible, so it's good. Cross our fingers, knock on wood, Nothing goes wrong today. Let's get out there. This is a fantastic tailwind I got. Man, I wish every day would be like this. I'm just sailing. I'm pretty much sailing. The wind is pushing me along. I'm doing 105, like 65 miles an hour. And I'm using less fuel than I usually do going 90 kilometers an hour or 55. This is great. Getting about 20 liters per 100 kilometers right now, just flying. Can't, can't imagine how expensive it would be to be going the other direction right now. So if you think about it, I'm flying along here burning 20, 25 liters per 100 kilometers, which is really good. I don't get that on a calm day, usually. If I was going, that's how strong my tailwind is right now. If I was going into the wind, into the headwind, Oh man, oh, I'd probably be pushing like 50 liters per 100 kilometers. And I'd be doing 90, 95 kilometers an hour. So I'd be making less, covering less ground, spending twice as much money. That's how much the wind on the prairies makes a difference. And I'm happy about it now because this never happens. Usually I get bad luck and every time I'm on the prairies, I'm going against wind. Today, knock on wood, today's a good day. Got lucky. That's a really powerful wind too. It's gotta be gusting up to like, I don't know, 50 miles, uh, 50 kilometers an hour, 30 miles an hour, something like that. It's, it's, it's a pretty strong wind, not the strongest, but. I wish I had a big sail like on the top of my truck or something. Just like a big sail and just turn the truck off and just sail all the way to Edmonton, literally. So if you're wondering how much difference it would make, like 25 liters per 100 kilometers. Well, right now we're spending, what, $1.30 per liter? Let's, let's just use American prices because that's much easier to do off the top of my head right now. American prices right now are about a dollar per liter with all the conversions and everything. That's approximately what they're paying in the U.S. right now. We're paying $1.30 up here. So a dollar per liter. we got 700 miles. So we're going to make the math as easy as possible because I'm driving right now. I can't use my calculator. i got to use the old-fashioned calculator, which isn't as, isn't as good. Got to dust the cobwebs off it. So let's say we're, let's say it's a dollar per liter, US prices, okay? We're driving, let's round it down to 100 kilometers an hour. So 
we're burning 25 liters per 100 kilometers right now. So that is $25 per 100 kilometers, which I'm covering in one hour. So we're burning $25 an hour. Double that, and I'd be burning $50 an hour, obviously, right? And that's a low estimate because we're actually burning more than that because we're paying Canadian prices and paying the Canadian carbon tax. Wonderful. So today we're driving, let's say 1100 kilometers, burning $25 per 100 kilometers. How much is that? 25, that's 250, $275. Am I doing my math right? Let's just round it down to a thousand kilometers, make it easier on myself. My brain hurts. $25 per hundred kilometers. So it'd be $250 per thousand. Okay, so today let's say I would burn $250. Now, if I was going the opposite direction, burning twice as much fuel, I'd be burning $500. $250 more in one day. That's how big of a difference fuel economy makes in a truck. That's what I'm trying to get to here. I've been blabbering on, but there's the there's the punchline. That's why we try to save as much as possible. And now with this carbon tax, which does absolutely nothing to lower my emissions, because I still got to deliver my freight, right? I'm still delivering my freight. It still needs to be delivered. I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice of driving an electric vehicle right now. I have to drive this truck. So I have no alternative. I'm just having money stolen out of my pocket. And it adds up to several hundred dollars a month that would usually go into my personal bank account, you know, to pay for food, to pay for, I don't know, new tires on my pickup when they wear down or, you know, my new roof, food. Did I mention that? Food. Let's not get onto that topic. But that, that's what I'm talking about, fuel prices and fuel economy. It makes a big difference, big difference. Just saving five liters per 100 kilometers is $50 in a day, a day, one day. And I drive, let's say 25 days a month, 20 to 25 days a month. So 50 times, let's say 20, thousand bucks, thousand dollars I can save. I know I've been on this fuel economy kick this last month or so, but uh, I got my first check after starting this experiment and you definitely notice the difference right away just by slowing down. I keep going back to that carbon tax though and it's, it makes me so mad, so mad because I don't have an alternative. You know, a carbon tax for city dwellers, the people who live in the city, sure, yeah, they have options. They could take the bus, they could take the train. I don't know, they could walk. I live out in the country. The grocery store is 25 minute drive from our house. We have to, we have to drive. Even if I lived in the city, I drive this truck for a living, burning anywhere between, you know, let's say 300 to $600 a day. 600 is a very high end, that's a very bad day, but you guys know what I mean. And I have no other choice. This is how I put food on my table. So why are they trying to take that, that little bit I have left over at the end of the month to put food on the table for my family? Why are they trying to take that now yet? I'll pay taxes for healthcare. I enjoy our Canadian healthcare. I think it's a good system. I think it works well. People abuse it, that makes me mad. But all in all, we all chip in a little so that when people need a doctor, they can get a doctor, they can, they can get healthcare. But taxing the air when I don't have an alternative to do anything different? No, no, drawing the line right there, that is my, that's my limit. You can't keep taxing us. And now they're trying to put a tax on plastics yet. Tax here, tax there, tax here, tax there. Tax, we already pay enough taxes, okay? I'm going on a rant. That's my rant for today.
This is just ridiculous already. It's snowing again and getting worse. I don't know what to say. I, I have no words. I'm kind of upset. I'm kind of really upset. Winter just will not let go. Well, hopefully it clears up. We're between Regina and Saskatoon right now. So the wind is coming at us strong from our right, pushing us to the left. And uh, my fuel economy is showing that. I'm doubling what I was burning before. Plus we're getting snowed on. So the day started off great. It's, it's not so great anymore, but uh, maybe it'll get better again. I, I don't know. I don't know. At least the roads aren't snow covered right now. They're still just wet. They're not slippery. But as the, the day comes to an end, I guess we'll see if that gets worse or not. It's really too bad. Too bad. Hashtag disappointed. Prayers are answered. Look at this. So glad that, that snowstorm didn't last long. I was just talking to my mom and she said that apparently Alberta just got dumped on with snow recently. And that must have been the tail end of that snowstorm that we just went through. It was pretty weak already. But from what I've seen from weather forecast now, it's clear sky, well not clear skies, but clear, no snowstorms all the way to Alberta and all the way to Edmonton now. So I guess we missed it, which is good. We got dry roads now. I thought it was gonna be another bad day like when we were in Ontario there. But look at the snow that it left behind, eh? This was all melted already. This is all fresh, fresh snow. I miss the south. I haven't been in the southern U.S. in... Since when? Since our honeymoon. Over a year ago. Man, I miss it down there. Can't wait to go and visit again. Off to the left here, we got some action in Saskatoon. Everybody's rubbernecking, let's join them. Let's go. Oh, fender bender. Fender bender, they're just cleaning up the glass off the road there right now. Okay, so it's all over already. So yes, yeah, this is Saskatoon. Saskatoon. I haven't had a chance to go back to that dog park yet. Remember when we were here for Frankie's surgery? Our little dashend? Or let's be honest, Britt's little dashend? <laughs> That dog uh, is a one-owner dog, but I love him anyways. We were here for a surgery, right? His back surgery. And uh, we found that dog park. And it was the most amazing dog park I've ever been to in my entire life. Britt loved it too. If we lived in Saskatoon, we'd be there like every day. I'd love to actually turn our property into something like that. That's my goal. But that, anyway, that was a beautiful thing. Beautiful place to go visit if you haven't already. Before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Transportation Nation Network. I have partnered with them to bring you the best in trucking entertainment and trucking news on the web. Go to their website, transportationnation.com, and you will find that it is your one-stop shop for everything trucking. There's a lot of great trucking shows and entertainment there as well. I encourage you to go, sign up on their website, and subscribe to their shows so you don't miss any. I hope to see you there. Link is down below in the description.